Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 11.2 through 11.3.1 on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. I'll also be explaining some troubleshooting steps, so if you're having trouble jailbreaking your device, hopefully I can help you out. Alright, so first things first, I will have all the compatible devices in the description of this video, as well as the compatible firmwares. If you don't have one of these devices, or if you don't have one of these firmwares, you're not going to be able to use this jailbreak. Freeze frame. And also, I know this is a little early for a freeze frame, but I just want to mention that it took me incredibly long to get this jailbreak to work on my own device. That's why this video is late. I apologize sincerely. Coolstar has since then updated his tool, and I've also found an alternate method. So I'll be showing you guys everything in this video. I want to make it as easy as possible for you guys. And now we return to our regularly scheduled program. All right, so the jailbreaking process itself is just a little bit more complicated than last time. You know what, why don't I just show you? So go to the links in the description. You wanna first of all download Cydia Impactor. Of course, there are different links for your computer. Be sure you get the one for your computer. I'm a Mac, so I have it for Mac. Next, you wanna go to the Electra website. I will have it, Coolstar's website. Be sure you don't use third-party websites for this download. Uh, come down here in this website and click the non-developer download link. Unless, of course, you have a developer account, then yeah, download the dev account one. So go ahead and just click download. Uh, excuse the 1.0 version on this file name. At the time I recorded this clip, the version was 1.0, but since then, Coolstar has released new ones that are more stable, so always get the latest version that Coolstar has released. Also, while all this stuff is downloading, be sure you back up your device in iTunes or over iCloud. You're gonna need a backup in case something goes wrong or if you're not happy with the jailbreak, whatever. You're gonna need a backup of your device. So yeah, do that. Do it now. Alright, so for this video, I will be using an iPhone SE running iOS 11.3.1. And in order for this jailbreak to work, you will need to do a couple of things first, and I'll explain all that in this video. The next step is for those of you who have two-factor authentication on your Apple ID, you want to go to this website, also in the description, it's appleid.apple.com. Go ahead and log in, scroll down to the security tab, click on the app-specific password section where it says generate password. Click on that, put in anything for the name or whatever you want to call the password, and then the code that it gives you, you'll want to keep this safe because this is how you install the jailbreak. So I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard. Now if you don't have two-factor authentication on, just put in your Apple ID password in City Impactor here in a second. You actually don't have to do this step. All right, now that we got all of that out of the way, you can connect your device to your computer, open up City Impactor, and let the jailbreaking begin. Now drag in that IPA file we downloaded one minute and 28 seconds ago. It's gonna ask for your iTunes login and password, and if you have two-factor authentication, use that password we just generated online, so I'm just gonna paste that in. But if you don't have two-factor on, just put in your normal uh, iTunes password and it will work just fine. So now Studio Impactor is going to load Electra onto your device, just like that. But you gotta remember, it's not gonna let you open it on the first try, so you have to go into Settings, General, scroll all the way down to Profiles and Device Management, hit Trust on the profile. Now it's gonna Gonna let you open up Electra, but don't open it yet. There's a couple things you need to do. So first things first, uh, go to the storage section in settings and general. Scroll down until you see iPhone storage. You want to go ahead and click on that and make sure there are no over-the-air updates installed in here. So for example, I have iOS 11.4. If there is an update, be sure you delete this. The jailbreak will not work if there is an update in settings. All right, the next step is optional, but I highly recommend you guys do this. Go to the link in the description. It's going to take you to a page like this. It's going to ask you if you want install a configuration profile, you know the drill, install it. This is going to block future over-the-air software updates, that way it doesn't mess up your jailbreak. It's gonna say restart required, I'm gonna hit not now. Once you've got that, go back into settings, scroll all the way back to the main menu, and then go down and find Siri settings. And be sure to turn off Siri, uh, the top two options will turn off Siri completely. It should look like this when you're done. And the very last thing is to turn on airplane mode and make sure everything is off. So Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular, all that stuff, turn it off. If it's not off, go into settings and manually switch it off. All right, and the last step is to restart your device. So of course, hold down the power button and slide the power off. If you're on the iPhone 10, it's the volume up, down, then power to get to the power down menu and just go ahead and restart your device. 
And once your device turns back on, make sure airplane mode is on, make sure series off, all of that, or else this will not work. And then go into Electra and hit jailbreak. Now it's gonna tell you to wait maybe a few seconds and, and it'll say it's on the first step and then it should reboot your device. Now when your device starts back up, you should see Cydia, although don't freak out if it's not there. If Cydia is there, try to open it. If it crashes, that means you just have to run Electra one more time. And that's normal. You're actually supposed to run Electra twice in this jailbreak. Now when your device starts back up again, uh, you have to go into Electra. Like I said, if you don't see Cydia or Cydia is not working, uh, open up Electra and run it again. Just keep repeating it until you see it saying installing Cydia or on the step two of three. That's usually meaning that it has succeeded. And if you see the little spinning wheel on your screen, like you see right here, that means your jailbreak has succeeded. And when your device starts back up again, uh, you should be able to see Cydia on your home screen and it should be working if it doesn't run Electra again. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off airplane mode now so that Cydia can load. I'm gonna open it up. And as you guys can see, Cydia is fully working. Now I'm going to show you this second method. The one that's slightly more reliable, but a little more risky. Alright, so this second one uses a different exploit called Multipath. Go to the link I have in the description, download the app called Tweakbox, click on it, and if it gives you any ads, just click out of the ads. And then go to the middle tab named Apps, go in here, uh, scroll down until you see Electra 11.3.1 Multipath. That is the other exploit. It's actually the developer version of the app, but made to work so that you don't need a developer account. So I've already installed it and used this method and I tested it, it works. It actually works better than the first method I showed you. The two real main differences uh, when using this app is that it doesn't have to have a second reboot when you jailbreak. So Cydia should just show up right away and you can click into it and start installing tweaks. And the other difference is that you you can download this from Safari or Tweakbox in this case, which is actually not very safe. That's why I recommend the first method because it's straight from Coolstar. It's, it's not modified in any way by any third parties. So if you're worried about getting viruses and things like that, definitely stick to the first method. Treat this method as sort of a plan B. If plan A doesn't work for you, uh, the first method doesn't work for you, it gives you errors, your, your phone just keeps rebooting or something like that. Um, try this method, it will probably work. Or if you're just ever stuck without a computer and you're not in jailbroken mode, this is also a great way to re-enable the jailbreak. Because remember, this is a semi-untethered jailbreak. All right, so one more thing before I hop on out of here. If you get some common errors, I can help you resolve that. If you get one that says like roof remount is not working right or something like that, um, that means you still have a software update inside of settings. Just go into settings, delete that, and then uh, reboot your device, and then you should be good to go. Now, Cydia has some default sources. If you get source errors like this, go ahead and just remove that problem source, and those errors will go away. Lastly, if you get the error that says uh, exploit on the Electra button, uh, that means you didn't turn off airplane mode or series not turned off. You can also turn off your passcode that could increase your chance of success. So double check all that, reboot your device, and come back and try again. Alright guys, that is it for the video. That is an awful lot of talking. This is the most amount of talking I've done in like three weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure you rate me up if this helped you. If you're still having trouble with Electra, um, definitely leave a comment. If I'm not able to help you or get back to you, um, just be patient and wait for another update to Electra. Like I said, the latest version should already fix a ton of issues. If you guys want to see tweaks and stuff like that, be sure you leave a comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. And if you do, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.